welcome. Wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of our Welcome Back Student Art Exhibition. This section that I'm standing in front of now is a grouping of still life paintings. Uh, they're done in both oil and acrylic. It's the student's choice. Uh, the object of these paintings is to create the illusion of depth of space and organization too. So uh, we refer to that as composition as well. So you can see that uh, students' different interpretations, uh, different um, compositions of the paintings that they chose. And really the goal was to be expressive with color, but to still have the idea of volume and form in an artwork. That sort of experience of three dimensions that we have in paintings. Uh, this section here, these paintings are all landscape paintings. I have my, my students um, take their own photos. Um, sometimes they're source material photos, but um, the goal of these paintings is also to create the, the, the illusion of miles of depth, you know, the idea of what the atmosphere does to our vision and, and things like that. And uh, what's very interesting about these is very often a lot, you see, you, I see my students in them. They almost sort of evolve into a self-portrait self assignment, um, which is super cool to see. Um, so, you know, uh, this is, a, a, this painting here is, a, um, I believe where her parents were, were married. So it becomes very sort of personal experience as well. Very uh, well done painting in acrylic. Um, and then here's another example of a student that I have that um, this is definitely her you know, sort of uh, cool and goth and kind of fun, and it's definitely her. But um, <clears throat> these sections here are, uh, we call acrylic dry brush paintings. These paintings um, are a lot about drawing, um, which might seem odd in a painting class, but uh, we use a brush and we use acrylic paint and we slowly, sort of sculpt the images that we use. And uh, students are using a photo as a source material as well. Um, but they have a lot of fun with these. They turn out really well. Students get uh, to be a little bit more expressive in where, what the objects that they're choosing to paint. Um, and uh, we can, our, our feline friend here has been a big hit. This is a very beautiful painting. Um, in fact, I believe someone is interested in purchasing the elephant painting, but they're all quite spectacular. Very proud of them. This is a sort of wide array of different work that we've done in their drawing class. Um, on the sides here, we have um, still life, our, our traditional still life setup drawing. So students get to explore uh, line weight, you know, be expressive with the marks that they're making, and they also get to organize and group things uh, in a way that speaks to them, that they can sort of be inspired about and have fun while they're making the drawings. Uh, these, these two paintings you can see here with these origami cranes. Yes, we make origami cranes in the class and then we implement them into a drawing. Uh, the students have to take photos of different lighting on the cranes and then they need to put these into an environment with similar lighting talk about composition, things like that. And that's what you get these sort of both very different uh, setups using these cranes. In the center, um, it's a surrealism project. So students need to uh, research, investigate what the surrealist sort of art movement was. So a lot of conversations about Rene Magritte and Salvador Dali, but uh, this student um, did a self-portrait in a sort of, surrealistic sort of environment with hands coming out and uh, a lot of a lot of the work uh, a lot of the conversation we have and the point of the exhibition is about what it's like coming out of the pandemic you know and students have been incredibly motivated and i think assignments like this have just given them a voice to be even even more confident coming out of such a sort of crazy wild time for all of us um, and then uh, to end the exhibition, uh, there's a few more landscape paintings um, because they're so beautiful. It's a wonderful exhibition. I'm extremely proud of the students. And uh, as we sort of slowly open up the doors and everything, I hope that you guys can come in, take a look and become inspired. <laughs>